Alright, so this video here we're going to look at related rates. And I've got a couple problems that I'm going to work and I'm going to do one problem per video. Uh, so here we have an oil rig springs a leak in calm seas <clears throat> and the oil spreads in a circular path around the rig. If the radius of the oil patch increases at a rate of 30 meters per hour, how fast is the area of the patch increasing when the patch has a radius of 100 meters? Alright, so let's look at what at the information they're giving us and then look at, let's look and see what we're wanting to find. Alright, so it says the radius of the oil patch increases at a rate of 30 meters per hour. So that's the change in the radius. Okay, so that means that dr dt is equal to 30 meters per hour. Now, remember these related rates are with respect to time. Okay, whenever we set up our equation, we're taking the derivative with respect to time. So, this is the change in the radius with respect to time. It's 30 meters per hour. And they want to know how fast the area of the patch is increasing when the patch has a radius of r. So, they're telling us the radius is 100 meters. And what they're wanting to know is how fast is the area of the patch increasing. So they want to know the change in the area. So that's the change in the area with respect to time. That's what we're looking for. Alright, so let's set up our equation. Okay, so we're dealing with what? we're dealing with the area of a circle. So the area of the circle is pi area is equal to pi times the radius squared. <clears throat> so now we want to differentiate this with respect to t. So that would be dA dt is equal to, now taking the derivative of this, pi is just a constant. So we bring the 2 down, so that's 2 pi, subtract 1, and that would be r to the first times dr dt. Alright, <clears throat> now they want to know, they want to know how fast this area is changing when r is 100 meters. So the 100 meters here We'll plug in for R, and dr dt, that's how fast the radius is changing, so we'll plug that in for dr, t, dr dt. And so we get the change in the area, and how fast the area is increasing, is 2 times pi times R, which is 100, times dr dt which is 30. And this is going to equal 6,000 pi meters squared per hour. And this would be our answer. And if you wanted to, you could take the 6,000 and multiply it to the pi, to, to pi and get a decimal answer, or you can just leave it like this. All right. <clears throat> so the the main thing that we have to do is we have to we we write down what we're given and what we're trying to find and then we have to come up with our equation like we did here and then you differentiate this with respect to t and then all the information that you're given you just plug in and then you can find your find what you're looking for Alright, so I hope this helped. This was kind of a simple one here. 
Uh, hope you'll check out my other videos. Thanks.